Hi YouTubers, it's Mark from Hover Dog Brewery. Uh, following on from my last video where I was uh, messed about with the uh, reflow solid iron heat gun thing. Yeah. Right, well, I did say I'd be making a video about replacing the PID. So, uh, well, I've started. <laughs> Let me spin you around so you can see. Well, as you can see, the uh, brewery bench is a little bit untidy here. Um, just before I just go into this pit, I just thought I'd show you this. I actually uh, bought it a while back. It's uh, a fancy new uh, multimeter. Now, I got this because my old Fluke 77 is getting a bit old. And this one does things like frequency and stuff like that. And I can't remember how much it was now, but it wasn't that expensive. But look at me now, crikey. It looks like something from the back office or a uh, e-vlog. Um, <laughs> yeah, even biglive.com. Well, whatever. If you don't know what them channels are, go and look. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is uh, have a go. So what I've done, I've already just noted down uh, all the, you can see that. So one and two are live. Well, this is my Rex C100, yours may be different. Please do not take this as a um, instruction manual for your C100. Uh, I know the f some of the imports are a bit different. So certainly on mine, one and two are live in. Um, you've got your switched output, so you know it's normally connected to uh, three and five. And um, then when you demand heat, it will short out three and four. Uh, they are only switched output and they're not rated at 10 amps. Uh, so I actually use... Uh, well, that's why everyone uses SSRs. So there's enough current can be handled by this these that it can turn on your SSR. And um, I actually use 12 volt SSRs, so um, the rated three to 32 volts DC or something like that. But I use 12 volts because it's a PC power supply. So yeah, that's 12 volts in, and then there'll be uh, the other wire from pin four goes off to my SSR. So if it clicks on demands heat, it just shorts out those two. So it's normally open, normally closed. Um, six and seven people don't use that. I've got an alarm set up. I don't think I've ever used it. And finally, thermocouples on eight, nine, and ten. So uh, we're going to convert the. Um, well, I'm gonna, well, first of all, I'm actually going to pull this apart, and I'm going to solder on directly onto these, and have a test. That's the idea because it doesn't work. It's probably the contacts at the back, but you know, sod it. I've got me inkbird. So I'm going to play with this, but um, I'm replacing, replacing the uh, this with Inkbird. So I might replace it, and then we can mess about with this on the on the bench. And if it's uh, if it works, it works, anyway. What well, son of a bitch? Pull this apart, and I've been moving around the old wrecks, but move this wire, and it dropped off. So when I've obviously crimped it, we crimped to set a, a certain pressure. I can't change them. But it's actually snapped the wire off, so maybe that was the issue. So a bit myth that I've just found that, but I, I might have just happened me moving up and down. So I've labelled everything up, and um, I've slid the wrecks out. So we've got a hole in the panel. And there it is. That's the wreck. So uh, that's what it slides into. And they all look good inside there. You can't see on camera, but they all look shiny and nice. So. No, I've got a spare now. I'm gonna mess with it. Here's a new ink bird. It's uh, considerably uh, shorter. They uh, sort of about there. So yeah, you've got like nearly an inch shorter. The other problem I've got. It doesn't fit. It seems to be fatter all round. Um, put next to you the other one. And um, I'll fly up the bottom, the top, it's, it's taller. So uh, these things are meant to start tries, aren't they? So you know, I can put it in and it, yeah, it's, it's capped in the middle. Um, certainly this side, it's quite bowed. Top and bottom, it's nowhere near. So I'm going to have to file it. Now the problem is there's all the other electronics are all in here. So I'm not quite sure whether I should just risk it or what. I'll come back in a few minutes when I've had a good think and a good hack. It fits! A uh, bit of filing. I laid the panel on its face, um, face down, and then file from the back. So any 
bits fell on the floor on this side so um, well it fits now it uh, looks squarish that'll do uh, and I'll put this in the back just to hold it in place okay there's a couple of screws um, you can tighten up and I'm done okay so the plastic you can't see it really on camera the plastic thing goes down there clips on and then there's a couple of screws just to do a final adjustment so uh, well that's in it's in so we can start attaching the wires and she's wired up she's over here this is it uh, the two wires the alarm I've got no idea if the alarm's wired right or not um, I put the PID wires on the same as they were before the PID? <laughs> thermocouple um, so it's a bit bouncy the camera Let's zoom you in a little bit if it will work it often goes out of focus yeah looks alright so uh, live in is on the left here so uh, live and neutral or hot and earth or neutral I don't know what you call it in America hot there's hot in there that's live you know, I don't care I'm in UK live and neutral um, that's on uh, 10 and 9 the next two is the SSR in that's switched to turn the SSR on so that's 12 volts in and that goes off via a switch to the SSRs uh, that's your thermocouple there and those are the alarms right uh, I think it's time I stood it up and turned it on so uh, I'm not going to stop the camera let's go for it oh bloody cables everywhere I've got my solder station on as well which I suppose I can turn off now uh, let's get you around a bit let's throw the big switch it might go bang ready three two one Well, it's not gone bang, and we've got a reading. How good's that? Okay, yeah, I'm open. I'll come round while you brewery up if you want. Yeah, only fifty pound a, a, an hour. Uh, well, so my temperature probe in the room says twenty-two and a half, so that says nineteen. So pretty much calibrated. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I'll do it another day. Uh, and the way it's actually uh, set points 50 and it claims it's got some output not exactly straight that is it but um yeah so it's out so uh oh what no you what what's going on here something has clicked inside what the hell's pv that's what it's reading present value and i touched the case didn't i and it now this is behaving exactly the same look as the other one so it can't be the PID after all that work what the hell is it the case is earth it's got good earth on it I okay, know it has maybe it's the actual thermocouple then I'm pretty sure I've swapped them round and it's uh, that's settled down look at it not loose connection what the hell was it then bit weird I've got no idea what these are need to read the manual right okay well that is sort of working I don't know what it went it went bound didn't it on the other one when I just panel's not turned on by the way with the power button so there's no output it's not going to do anything um, but let's power it up and it's not powering up so something's broken Hey, something's broken. No, 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 I've broken it. That was an easy fix. I'd actually knocked uh, a crimp off <laughs> off the back of the power switch. Okay, so we're on. Hmm. I'm going to check the alarm out. Okay, so it's not alarm at the moment, which pretty means I've wired it up right. Okay, that's good. So, uh, yeah, alarm, okay, so high alarm, low alarm, DH, no idea, D, no idea, DF, no, I'm going to have to read the manual. There is a learning mode, isn't there, on this. Okay, well, loads more settings in here. Ah, oh, board rate, I take it. Wow. How many bloody settings? Anyway. It's working, sort of working, isn't it? What I need to do is calibrate this now. 
and do some more tests and uh, I think I'm done. So let's power it off. You can probably hear me now. Well YouTubers, that's the end of a vlog. Um, it seems to be working fine at the moment. It does need calibrating. I need to go through all them settings. I've got the book here with lots of stuff. Maybe I'll watch somebody else's videos and work it out from that. Um, and a bit of a freaky moment at the end, didn't it? <laughs> no idea what was going on with that. Um, so I set up things like the alarms. Uh, I don't really use the alarm, it's wired up. Um, maybe I should set the alarm so it goes a bit low, it would come on. I don't know. Anyway, point is, it's in the panel and it seems to be working. It's reading 20 degrees, which it probably is in here, it is quite warm. Um, yeah, so looking forward to having a brew day. And if it's any good, I'll swap the other Rex C100 clone out for one of the ink birds. Uh, by the way, um, there's two ink birds you can get like this, and this is the 100 RH, so ITC 100 RH, okay? And what this means is uh, it's got a switch contact, so it can turn on the SSRs via you know a relay. There is another model, which I believe is the V, which has got direct SSR outputs on. I don't know the technical specification of the V1. Um, I know this would be a replacement for my Rex C100, so I'm quite happy. And it, uh, well, it's been clicking, so it looks like it works. Right, okay, well that's it. So Mark from Hover Brewery, signing off. And as always, stay thirsty. <laughs>